And they bring their children out. It's such a lovely place. And yet, this beauty contains all sorts of danger. Old rusty iron and broken glass can harbour anything. Inside there, you get all sorts of biteys and nasties. There's one now. In fact, there's two there. But one of them is particularly bitey and nasty for children. Yes. Right, I'd like to catch him. We need this bloke for a little talking point. Come on, little man, down you go. That's it. Yes, this is the dugite. Or brown snake. One of the very dangerous animals in the area. It looks like any other of the common brown snakes in Australia, and in fact is one of the brown snake family. This particular sort of dugite is called a cabada because of these odd black spots scattered along. I've got one there. The other odd black spots are ticks. Quite a friendly looking snake, but he is one of Australia's killers. The fangs, if we can get him to open his mouth, are very, very short. They're on the upper jaw. You see them there? These are quiet, non-aggressive snakes, but if they do get annoyed, they stand up and fight. And at this time of the year, he's just come out. Listen to him hiss. Oh, dear me, he's upset with his mouth open. He's just come out from his winter sleep, and he's been brewing his poison for a whole winter. And so now he is really strong. Now, you might ask, how do you tell a dugite or a brown snake from any other sort of snake? It's under the tail that matters. You see this belly scale pattern, which is single scales all the way up until you get to the vent. And then from there on, there's a zigzag line, goes right up the middle of the tail. They're called subcordals, and that zigzag line differentiates this snake from most of the others. As I say, he's, he's pretty harmless, except if he bites you, but he gets out of your way. He doesn't bother to chase you and attack you. Most of these snakes are very quiet and very peaceful. Let him go and we'll just see what he does. Now, going into his defence position, now all he wants to do is get away. He's not really interested in biting me. The other thing is the redback. Just as dangerous, but doesn't move as far. Very lethal animals, these. This is a female loaded with eggs, and she's particularly aggressive at this time. Broken tin, broken bottles, snakes, killer spiders, all things that make this particular battleground a very dangerous place to be.